In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install MySQL on your computer. And I'm using Mac and I'll be installing MySQL on my computer. MySQL is a cross-platform database server and it can be installed on many different operating systems. So to download MySQL community server, you will need to either Google for it, download MySQL community server, or open your browser window following URL dev.mysql.com forward slash downloads forward slash mysql so at the time of recording this video course this is how this page looks like and if you scroll down you'll have a few links to download community server again i'm using mac but there are different versions of mysql available for a different operating system if you're running windows for example okay so i'm running mac high sierra and i will be downloading the very first archive here by clicking this download button i have actually downloaded mysql already and have installed it on my computer so i'm not going to download it again but i will repeat the installation process so once you download this archive it will be on your computer somewhere i have downloaded to my desktop this is the installation file mysql 8.0.11 and i will run it by double clicking on it and I'm then presented with this window. I'll double click on this icon. It says that this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Continue. And then introduction. Thank you for choosing MySQL. I'll just continue. And here's the license. Continue. I agree. And it will take up to 552 megabytes of space on my computer that's fine if you want to install to a different location you can choose a different location here i don't do that and will install it to the location that it suggests i'll then show you after installation where mysql server will be installed so i'll click on install to install this and now i'm being prompted to provide a password and this password is to your computer this is the admin password that you use to log in into your Mac computer. So I'll provide my password and click on install. The installation process is very quick. It will take just a couple of minutes or even less. And here we go. MySQL uh, installation is successful. If during the installation MySQL server prompted you to provide a root password, please do so and please provide password that you can remember and at the same time it should be secure. You will need this password to log in into MySQL server. In my case, MySQL server did not prompt me for the password and this is because I have already installed it on my computer. So I'll click on close and then I will close it and let's now learn how to start the MySQL server we have just downloaded. 